Hi, I'm Joanna Swords. I'm here in Moscow in Red Square on behalf of Our Lady's Apostolate, the Fatima Center. We're here making preparations to reach out to the Catholics and to all the people of Russia with the message of Our Lady of Fat. For centuries, Russia has been considered an anti-Catholic country, both, I'm talking about both under the time of the Tsar, going back centuries ago, and after the time of the Tsar, after the Bolshevik Revolution. And that anti-Catholicism was to such an extent that historically, at times, it was even a crime to be a Catholic. For the last two and a half decades, thanks to the prayers of many Catholics and sacrifices of many Catholics around the world, heeding the request of Our Lady of Fatima, praying for the conversion of Russia, this country is now becoming somewhat tolerant of the Catholic faith. But while belief systems, antichrist belief systems such as Islam and Buddhism are accepted here as religions in this country, of this country, the Catholic faith is still not considered a traditional religion of Russia. The result of this historical anti-Catholicism and this lack of status of the Catholic faith be, uh, being a, considered a religion of Russia is that in this nation of, 100, of approximately 144 million people, only about 1% of the population are Catholic. That's Vatican statistics. Secular statistics say it's about a half a percent, in, in which case you're talking less than a million people out of 144 million. Please continue to pray for the Pope to do what Our Lady of Fatima asked and consecrate Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. That is the answer. That is the answer to the Catholicism here. That is the answer to the problems here and the problems in the world. Your prayers, sacrifices, and if possible, your financial assistance are very much appreciated and very much needed as we work during this 100th year of the anniversary of the apparitions of Fatima to get our literature translated, public printed, and distributed here in Russia. Thank you and God bless you.